In this video, you're going to learn how to create an in-stream Facebook ad. Hey everyone, my name is Kelsey and welcome back to episode three of Getting Social with Pond5. In this episode, we're gonna cover the following, what a Facebook in-stream ad is and the technical specs, the best video editing and export settings for Facebook video ads, and three, how to use Ads Manager to turn your ad into an active campaign. A Facebook in-stream ad is an advertisement that will play before, during, or after video content from publishers included in the Facebook publishing partner network. Your ad will run like a commercial, requiring viewers to watch it completely to continue watching their selected content. Like on YouTube, they'll see a countdown for when their programming will resume. So what are the tech specs for Facebook in-stream ads? For one, they're five to 15 seconds in duration. And two, they support three different aspect ratios, square, landscape, and vertical. Sound is required. It works best with H.264 video compression, and they must be four gigabytes or less in size. I put a link in the description that goes over all of the design and tech specs for Facebook ads if you wanna read up. But for now, let's go ahead and jump in to start designing the advertisement. All right, so I'm using Premiere Pro to edit the video, but all video editing software should have similar features. If you don't have access to any video editing software, you can also try out Pond5's Social Studio, which lets you make social ads with templates and a built-in editing tool. So there's a link to all that in the description. Now, here are the first two key things you want in your ad. For one, you want visually compelling media to capture your audience. And two, you need to show what your product or service is about. Once you have those, then you're good to go. I'm making a square ad, so first I'm going to select new item from the project panel and then select sequence. And then from the custom tab, I'm going to make the pixel resolution 800 by 800 to make it square, a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. From here, you can drag in all the video, music, and text assets you want to use in your ad. In our case, I'm promoting a wellness retreat, and I use stock footage and music from the Pond5 library. I've also linked to this in the description box below. And this sequence is my final ad that I created. Let me play it back. So now that it's done, it's time to export. If you're using Premiere Pro, go to File, Export, and then Media. Then from the new window, select H.264 from Format, and rather than choosing Facebook 1080 Full HD preset, which will add black bars to the side of your square video, I'll select Match Source High Bitrate so it remains square. Then hit Export. From your Facebook Ads Manager, select Campaign, then select Create. Next, you need to choose your marketing objective. Since in our case we want people to book a ticket for the wellness retreat, our goal will be conversions. Below that, you can choose your daily budget and then continue. Next, you can choose where you want the conversion to send people. Most common is the website, but if you have an app, you can also select that. You'll need to set up Facebook Pixel with your website so it can track conversions. Select what you want to track, such as purchase. Next, you can customize your audience and narrow down your demographic by region, gender, age, and more. In the new detailed targeting here, you can also target specific people who also like other wellness-related activities, such as yoga, outdoor recreation, meditation, and travel or other common interests you think relate to the subject matter of your advertisement. Then under placements, since we only want the ad to be placed on in-stream ads, select edit placements and then uncheck everything except the in-stream ads. But you'll notice you'll also need to select Facebook in-feed ad to get the in-stream ads to work. So just select Facebook news feed as well. Next, we can upload the video you previously exported. So once your video is uploaded, you can choose to customize it more. I'd recommend choosing a custom thumbnail frame or uploading an image you design. 
The last step is to add in all of your ad data, such as the text copy, the website landing page link, a headline, and also be sure to choose your call to action from the dropdown. For example, I'd choose book now from this dropdown for our ad. Now on the right, you can preview how the ad will look and the different placements you select. Then you're good to confirm the ad and Facebook will review before it goes live. So I encourage you guys to check out all the different ad placements that you can do with Facebook. And I hope that the tips were useful. If you guys have any questions at all, be sure to leave a comment below. And if you're interested in YouTube ads, I encourage you guys to check out the skippable and bumper ad episodes that are a part of this series. In the next episode, we're going to be covering how to design and set up an Instagram feed ad. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.